Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hey, how's it going, Pokemon fans? Welcome back once again to Pokemon TCG Center. In this video, we'll be looking at Alone Executor deck uh, for the standard format. This is one of the latest decks that I will um, release today on my channel. And as you can see, it, um, it's the 160 HP Grass Pokemon with Tropical Shake Attack, which means that for a single energy card and, six, and 160 HP, we can attack and we can be tanky. Plus, if our opponent managed to take a prize, it will take only one prize card, which is just insane. So, with that being said, um, let's just take a closer look to the Tropical Shake Attack. Um, it can basically hit for 20 plus 20 more for each basic energy um, with different type in our discard pile. And we can't add more than 100 damage in this way. And that's pretty much it. So. The whole idea for this deck is to discard some energies in the discard pile and basically use a tropical shake and attack with it, so it's insane. Technically 120 for non GX uh, or EX Pokemon uh, and 150 uh, with a choice band to EX or GX Pokemon. Um, in addition to that, we can technically add 20 more with Kukui, but I decided just not to go with it. Um, once we attack a couple times with our Alolan Executor, we can simply swap damage with the Magical Swap. And that's the whole theory uh, for this deck list. Some other Pokemon that, that can be fine on this deck, of course, are Smurgle with the second coat. Very important to basically swap those grass for any other energies in our Discord pile that we need. Um, and also to um, prevent damage snipe on the bench with the Mr. Mime Bench Barrier. We're also gonna find the Tapu Koko with the Fly Flip, which is also very good and very strong attacker. Um, two Tapu Lailas and one of each, uh, Octillery and Remoraid with a Bezel Hand. So we're basically covered up on all positions with uh, good um, tech Pokemons. So after the Pokemon lineup, which uh, you can find right there in this deck, there's like 17 of them. Um, I have 33 trainer and supporter cards in total. <clears throat> so let's just take a closer look to some of the item and supporter cards. Uh, one counter catcher, I really like it because uh, if your prize ahead we can simply play it, and that's a very good thing. Um, so if we, if we are prize uh, ahead our opponent, we can use advantage of counter catcher, so we don't need to waste Kuzma. Um, one copy of Field Blower, two Professor's Leather, which is very important thing to find energies and discard them. So this is our way to discard energies, but also to find specific energy at the moment that we need. Since this deck only runs four grass energies, it might be a hard time to find energy or also energy to attack, so Professor Slater can definitely help us. Four puzzle of times um, to recycle those resources from our disco pile back to our hand. Um, one rescue stretcher, four ultra balls, and uh, in addition to that, three of each choice band and flow stones. Um, support a lineup, two Bridgets in case if one is prized, um, three Cynthia's. Also, two copies of N and three copies of Professor Sycamore. So, a draw supporter, two semi draw supporter, of course, with Octillery Mellow, um, so we can grab any two cards we need, and two Guzmas. Um, when we speak about energy cards, I decided to go with two counter energies. They're pretty good because technically, with counter energy, um, we can attack uh, for that magical swap very easily, uh, but we need to have less price, uh, more price cards left than our opponent. And of course, we can use the Fly Flip, but we can also surprise our opponent, for example, with Electric Ball as well. Um, one of each, Fairy, um, Fighting, Fire, and Lighting Energy. And of course, four Grass Energies as well. So this is the deck list that I'm going to use in this video. Trust me, this deck really rocks. It's a very badass deck that you can basically build these days in the standard format. And I really like it. Um, if, you, if you're looking to play with this on the ladder, trust me, you're just gonna crush your opponent so hard. They're just gonna be so confused and they will just say, what the heck is going on? I mean, what? I mean, 160 HP, one energy attacker is just insane, but it really works, trust me. So, if you're looking to purchase any of these cards, check ccgcastle.com, links provided in my video description as usual. If you may be looking to send your cards to PSA submission, make sure to check lootingscollectible.com. Both links are provided in my video description. So, yeah, let's do the 
couple game tests so you can actually see this deck in action, so see you in the game. So this is the game number 3 and also the final game for this deck. Um, I'm not sure what to say about it, it it's amazing. I mean, it works like a charm, so I kind of like it. Alright, so the opening hand looks also pretty good. I have that Tapu Koko for the free retreat. I have Tapu Lele, which obviously means I'm gonna be forced to use it for that Cynthia play. Boswell is on the other side. Alright, so for uh, so when, uh, today I'm just kicking um, everybody's ass on TCGO by simply playing this um, Elon an Execute deck, Executor deck, and it works just fantastic, so yeah. Um, another Boswell. Another Boswell. Alright. And there is already like Mr. Mime on my bench. What else do I need? Pretty much nothing, I mean, that's insane. Grass energy attached. Alright. I would love to see some sort of Anna on the other side, so I can refresh my hand, because this one is definitely not good as it should be and as it's supposed to be, but uh, there's a top level play, which obviously going to be either way for Cynthia or for Sycamore. I'm like 101% positive that he will not decide to play M. Also, another thing that he can do right now is, for example, play um, Bridget if he if he runs, but uh, Boswell decks, they simply don't have um, Bridget on the decklist, mainly because they can use advantage of Proof of Kill. And we're gonna see first Cynthia today. Things are definitely great for me as long as I don't bench too many top playlists. That is for sure. Yeah, unfortunately. Actually, even Bridget is not that bad option. Why not? I can do that. I can definitely do that. Missed to wake up, which he did. <laughs> he won't be able to attack. That's amazing. That's just amazing. I really like it. This this deck is pretty cool. I mean, it's it's a easy to build. Of course, if you're long enough in the game to have all core cards like a top Lele, like Puzzle of Times and Sycamores with another cards, it's very easy to build it. You just need to have those core cards and uh, you can you're ready to go without too many problems so what he can do with another top Lele in play we shall see but I like the fact that he already play another top Lele so those top Leles are gonna be easy targets for my uh, magical swap sooner or later just waiting for that wonder tag which is another Cynthia Okay, so there's the ANSI as well. And it's my turn. There we go, my friends. So what we can do? We can do a lot of good things, definitely. The one of those things it's gonna be... For example... Hmm... Is it bird actually to play Sycamore in this case, or just hit my opponent for like a 20? That's a million dollar question. 
I'm gonna go with Sycamore for seven. Oh, I discarded two pieces of puzzles. It really hurts my eyes. Definitely, but... It is how it is. It is how it is. We're gonna discard the Flowstone. I didn't hit Energy, which is obviously very bad, but I hit that Tropical Shake for 20. He didn't wakes up once again. Oh, are you kidding me? Right now it's a good time to retreat and use that Tapu Koko for the damage spread. This is very important. Right now he managed to wake up. But the good thing is that I can retreat down to my Tapu Koko, use that damage spread. That's a very, very important flip. Fly flip, 120 damage counters is in play. So that's definitely an amazing thing. Alright. There's no question that he can jet punch me for one hit knockout. <sighs> oh, he decided to help me with the end. I'm actually very happy to see him. No question. So what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna pull that Tapu Lele. Alright, magical swap. Um, right now, at the time of the recording this video, I completely realized that I put a wrong Tapu Lele inside. The Psychic one should go inside of it, especially if he have Psy Wave attack. Because it can it can easily one-hit knockout Buzzwell with, uh, with a Choice Band. Which is amazing. Actually, it can't. It can go for up, one, up to 180. But still, with a single energy for 180, I mean, what are we talking about? It's not that hard to get that energy with the second coat. Oh, so he decided to target my Mr. Mime. Okay, well played. Well played, my friend. That's even much better for me, because I can have another round of the fly flip going on. That's a very important and crucial This, This is just very important. I mean, it is. It's definitely important. He can jet punch my Mr. Mime. I can, re I can put it on the bench just like that. But I'm not, I'm not gonna need Mr. Mime anymore on my bench. What I'm gonna need on my bench is definitely um, Remorite, so I can have those... There we go. Mr. Remorite going on my bench. And there is another counter um, energy available as well. So, what I'm gonna do here is... I'm gonna play Mellow. I'm gonna play Mellow, I'm gonna grab myself top deck... Puzzle and another card is gonna be Counter Catcher. Ooh, I can do that. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I can already see that coming. Um, grass Energy, Attachment, and another Fly Flip. I can even use Electric Ball if I want, but uh, no, I'm, ju I'm, just I'm just looking forward to spread damage counters around the board because in that case I'm hitting for 120 instead of the 100. 20 extra damage is always good. So we have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Pokemons with 40. That's There's a 260 damage counters in total in play, which means that I need to hit one more time with my Execute hard enough. Or maybe with another round of the Fly Flip. And basically after that, Tapu Lele and Magical Swap will do so many trouble to my opponent that probably I'll be able to pull like 3 prize cards in just a single turn. That's amazing. That's how this deck should work, and that's how this deck actually works. So we're gonna see Jet Punch and probably 3 on my Remorite. I wouldn't be even surprised to see... Yeah, definitely 3 damage counter should go down to my Remorite. Probably he's just thinking, yeah, 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 I should snipe the Remorite. Probably he don't have a way to respond back, but I actually have. I actually have a way to respond back. So look at this, Puzzle of Time is a top deck. Right now it's time to put that top oil in play. Um, Alright, so he's down to four price cards and getting that puzzle in play. And I'm grabbing myself Counter Energy and Tapu Coco as well. Counter Energy play. Um... I'm driving a Beazle Hand, obviously. 
for that counter catcher. There we go. Who's gonna be in the promoted in the active position? That the NC. And right now it's time for me to retreat to use that magical swap before that I can also use my mellow, um, which obviously means that I can grab something like this. These two cards are actually gonna be very important. There we go. And it's time for me to use that magical swap. So 70. This could actually take a long. This will take a while. 80, 90. This dude can be one hit knocked out anyway, so we're not gonna focus him any, uh, anymore. He can survive on the bench. I don't care too much about him. Alright, 120. There we go. 130. 40. That's it. 150. He's very close to being knocked out anyway. Uh, 160. That's it. There we go, my friends. 170. 180. All right. 190. 20, 40. 60, 80, 100. Okay. And we're gonna just move those energy cards. Those damage counters from that Lycan Rock. Obviously on the top of Lily, so he can be easily one hit knocked out. Um, with the Guzma or something like that. And that's it. I'm done. Floatstone and a fire energy card. All right. So can he somehow respond with a knockout against my top Layla? We shall see. We should definitely see that. I just simply love this deck. Oh, there's a floatstone. So he have floatstone available. He might decide to go with uh, um, dangerous Row GX knows maybe even with the claw slash and after that I just need to find a way to one hit him out with my executor I think this should not be a big issue uh, the rope of just put on the bench because I can simply discard a lot of cards from my hand I can put another top of coke on the bench I can put counter energy in it I can put Floatstone in play, and obviously I can draw like four or five cards and extra to that. So yeah, this is definitely gonna be Claw Slash, so he he realized that it's not good time for him to use that GX attack, so there we go, Claw Slash, for like a 150. There we go, Execute ready to be promoted in the front. We are going to do this thing and then this thing and then obviously a Beasley hand Ultra Ball, alright the fastest leather the problem is that I can't one hit knock him out but still I can do a lot of damage, that is for sure. Tropical Shake for 160. Still okay. The biggest problem is this counter energy attached to my top of coke I guess I shouldn't do that but he still needs to pull three prize cards if he can find himself a Guzma way to get knockout against my top of Lele, then I'm probably gonna lose this game because I didn't think smart but still after that he will need three more energy cards and he's another Lycan rock in order to knock out one of my Pokemons which is not gonna be easy that's for sure on the other side, with Claw Slash at this moment, he have enough even with a choice bend. 
Can he find himself a Guzma? I don't know, we shall see. I still don't see it. Okay, 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 I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm just... <sighs> there it is, there is a Guzma play. And obviously that's a big play. And right now that magical swap would be... It wouldn't be that good anyway. Yeah, 290. Now nah, the good thing is that he's knocked out anyway. So Cynthia. We're gonna play that Cynthia. No sound of your choice band. But energy can definitely go somewhere if it's needed. Like, for example, on the top of Coco, so we can hit harder. Tropical Shake, 160. That's enough for the knockout. So I'm down to two prize cards. Can he pull the magic trick? Can he grab himself a max elixir to accelerate? his Rockruff on the bench, get energy from his hand and Lycanroc, in addition to one hit knock on my Smurgle, we're gonna find that out very quickly. So there is energy from his hand which will definitely reduce the chance to hit Max Elixir because it's a basic fighting energy and he already had like four in a discard pile, but I didn't see a single Max Elixir in his deck, so it actually sounds crazy. However, I have that Tapu Lele available in my hand. Which means I can grab Guzma if I want. And I definitely want. But how much damage I can output? Only 80. 80 plus 70 is like 150. So I need definitely choice bands so badly. And obviously I have a lot of choice bands left. And I also have Ultra Ball available, which means that I'm not gonna need actually Choice Band. Actually, I'm not gonna need it because I have Ultra Ball available. One, two, three, four. Oh, still I'm hitting for 100. And I still need it. Ultra Ball? Will it be for Lycanroc? Obviously it will be. If he grabs himself a Lycanroc, then he can't attack, but he can put my Smurgle in the active position. Which is still good, because then I can discard energy from my hand. In order to retreat him. Which is a good thing. Zero Guzmas has been used. Did I use Counter Catcher? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, this just... It, it draws me insane. I, I can't wait. I just... I just can't wait. He can use Instruct and basically use that Bloodthirsty Eyes and pass the turn and that's it. So he decided to pull my Artillery in the front. And use Instruct for one and he's maybe hoping to find... <laughs> Seriously? He hit! Probably Field Blower. Maybe he top deck Field Blower. If you have Field Blower in your hand, you, you should probably just. Just gonna play it. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a Regirock as well. And S Sycamore for 7, so. Okay, okay, so. I don't think he plays Max Elixir Energy Switch anyway, because. <laughs> okay, um. Did I, did I mention Max Elixir Energy Switch? He hit Max Elixir, but he's just looking forward who's gonna get that energy card. Don't tell me right now he's gonna play energy switch and destroy my brilliant deck idea. I hope that's not gonna happen because I have victory available in my hands. Not even Tapulele can strike for enough damage to one hit knock on my artillery, that's for sure.
I'm waiting for like... Oh, so finally he decided to retreat. It took so long. Seriously, and I even find the Guzma as a top deck, so... First things first. Floatstone play, Ultra Ball play. For nothing, obviously. Alright, um... Alright. <laughs> that choice but an Ultra Ball, those two cards. That's really all I need. And I'm hitting for 20, 40, 60, 80, for like 160. What can go worst? There you go, there's a choice ban, so that's the GG. Oof. That was... Very insane game. So with that choice ban, I could even one-hit knockout that Lycan Rock as well, because 220 is enough for the knockout, that's insane. Oh, so mighty Boswell Lycan Rock just fall on the knees versus a lot of executor gx thank you guys for watching make sure to sub and the uh, comment and uh, hit the like for this amazing deck list once again thanks for watching we'll see you next time so make sure to um, click subscribe and also love that notification bell button uh, we'll see you next time so thanks for watching have a nice day